They design everything from roads to hydroelectric dams. Let's meet the civil engineer. Hi, I'm Viviana. Hi, Charles. The responsibilities of a civil engineer are to plan, design, and manage infrastructure projects. Pipelines, roadways, buildings, bridges, waterworks. So this is one of the options for one of the bridges that you and your team have been working on for the last little while. This is a four-span steel option for a 120 meter bridge. There's a lot of different software packages for three-dimensional seismic modeling that we use. The renderings really show what's going to happen and what you can expect when, when it finally is built. A typical day is standard hours, 8 to 4.30. When the construction is happening, we generally will be out there. And the reason we're out there is to make sure the right materials are going in the right place, grades are correct, the sizes are correct, the connections are correct, to make sure what's on the plans is being built. I was in the Army for six years, right out of high school, and then I was looking for a job that I could get anywhere in the world. So engineering was very obvious. There's always going to be a need for engineers. So then I went to university, and then I stayed on for, the, for a master's degree. You do need a, a four-year engineering degree. And many places now, a master's is not required, but, uh, but preferred. So while we do use computers for a lot, we still do go back to the old tools, like the light table. So the light table is very useful when you have the plans made, and you need to see something on the second floor. Take it, overlay it on the first, line the grid lines up, and we know immediately if our columns are lining up, if our structure is working. You have to be very detail-oriented. Every design you go through, you have to make sure it works, first of all, make sure it's constructible. If it's not correct, it'll get built that way, and then you'll have to come back and fix it. Working with the hands is important. The best engineers can sketch up details, designs, drawings that can be put directly onto paper and can be built directly from that. You have to be very organized to make sure your projects are staying on track and you're covering all the bases. You're doing the design properly, doing the calculations, and following up with the other team members. Three quarters of the work is interacting with people, communicating with team members, especially clients, hearing what they want and then doing what they want to see. So how did the ancient Romans and ancient Greeks get away with building such massive structures, not having the technology that we have today? Well, they didn't have the technology, but physics haven't changed. The concepts are the same, and the way they got away with it was they massively overbuilt. They would use enormous structures that would take the weight that would stand up forever. So it took a lot longer, it took a lot more people. Now we use computers, we use technology, we try to get down to a manageable size that will do the work. In a shorter period of time. Shorter sure. period of time, more economical.